In this tutorial, we'll solve the, the Axios problem when it says in caught in promise error request filled with status code 500. All right, so I have a couple of solutions for you. So solution one has to do with the error and how you're logging that, for example. So here, let's say you make some kind of network request and here you're dealing with the error, right? So some of you may actually be logging just the error object itself. However, it may be better to actually dig down a little bit and go into error.response.data, right? You can try that and see if that solves your error. If that didn't solve it, let's go to solution two here. So some of you may be getting uh, mixed up a little bit with uh, transforming the object to a JSON format and then also with the headers perhaps. So you don't have to uh, JSON stringify your data or payload. Axios actually already does that automatically for you if you use a post request. Um, so here, for example, I have this object here, new user, right, with a name and a job. Now, this is just a normal JavaScript object. If you send data to a backend, usually you want to do that in JSON format. You don't have to do that explicitly yourself. Right, so I can just write new user here as my data or payload and Axios will automatically transform this to a JSON, uh, JSON format. Right, so some of you may actually be doing this, something like this, where you think you have to do that, um, but you're sort of now doubly uh, stringifying it to JSON. Now, if you're doing it this way, you may want to try setting the headers to the following. So you can specify the content type to application forward slash JSON and see if that solves the error. All right. So if that didn't solve it, then most likely it's actually, it actually has nothing to do with Axios. It's probably something on your back end. So for example, if you have some kind of um, well, post request and you're sending it to user or users as a route, you need to make sure that you're actually in an express app, for example, that you actually have something like app.post and then that route. Right, so make sure you get this method uh, correct. So it shouldn't be app.get, right? Because your, your server is going to listen for a get request on this route, but you're sending a post request, right? So it would have to be app.post, right? It could also be router.post depending on how you set things up. But most likely, once you get to this solution, it has nothing to do with Axios itself. It's a problem unrelated to Axios. It's a problem most likely, most likely on your back end. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then and make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.